Oh, baby. Hey folks, Cornell with YouTube Fishing Vids. I'm out here looking for smallies and I think I got one. I sure did on a jerkbait. Pre-spawn for these smallies up here in the mountains of Maryland. It's a nice one, guys. The lighting is just right, sun shining. Took a bit. I actually been out here probably about 20 minutes before I got the first one. It's a chunky, beautiful mountain bass. I am so happy. Jack all re-range. And that beautiful, I think it's Secret Shad is what that is, a chartreuse belly, purple back, clear sides, looking gorgeous to that beauty right there. I love some bronze backs, and I'm up here for a purpose, and that's to get these beauties. So we're going to go at it today. Jerk baits, Ned Rigs, yeah, a little drop shot here and there, but I'm hoping just to do a jerk bait bite all day because the wind is blowing. Water temperature about 56 degrees. It's around 9 in the morning, and I got all day. All right, throwing this jack all re range on an absolutely incredible, incredible jerkbait setup. This is the Shimano X Pride 610 Medium. Got 10 pound test fluorocarbon. This is a Sunline Sniper. I've got just a medium speed lose reel here, and it's just absolutely perfect for what I'm doing. I found the fish up shallow. They're actually up in about five to 10 feet, so I'm sitting at about 20, casting up towards the bank. The wind is blowing right into it, and with this sun, it's gonna be about 82 degrees up here in the mountains. 85 to 87 down where I'm from but getting up here got a little bit cooler weather a little more wind which is exactly what I wanted and the first fish in the boat so let's keep at it let's see how many smallies we can catch today oh baby I got another one I think I got another one let me see is it swimming is it swimming yes guys I got number two awesome that repositioning worked I got myself number two surfing them in here again the fish up here aren't crazy big but the numbers are great but i'll take that one all day long look how fat the belly is on that one and he just absolutely annihilated it so that's great i've only been fishing for a little short time and i'm got so short that i didn't get the pliers out but i got them so i got this one out without them for now there's number two jerk bait smallies can't beat it Oh my gosh, guys, that thing hit it like a freight train. This is a big one. Third fish, it feels, oh, it's a great big, great big fish. I thought I got snagged. Oh my gosh, it's a great one, guys. I can't believe it. This is absolutely everything I was hoping to have happen. What a nice fish. He's hooked so well. Oh, he gets off. I hope you all saw him, guys. I didn't even have a chance to get at the net. That was a beautiful fish. He was hooked really well, but he just, he just swung his head one more time. I think the chest, he caught it. I'm just spinning around in circles, guys. I'm just fan casting with the wind at my back. I got this whole shoreline, the point over here. Oh, there's another one. Oh my gosh. Two casts later, I got another one, which I was just saying that I could just fan cast all over. They're just cruising all over these shallows and I could fish on that side for a few casts to go back to where I had just caught one and come back in here and get number three in the boat <laughs> three in the boat so that's uh three for four look at the belly guys look at that beautiful cream white belly all fat as he can be i love it so much this is so awesome and i do have the pliers this time so we're gonna go ahead and get him out get him in and get this jack all re-range back in the water you ever get a feeling that things are just starting to happen i mean i've been here for a short time but this wind just picked up no more than like 10 minutes after i hit this spot and hit spot lock and man it just feels like it's just going nuts already i mean the bites are just coming fast and furious and it wasn't initially and i was right here but the repositioning this psycho wind i'm so happy it's howling howling wind in a jerk bait a match made in heaven i like this cast i don't know i just like this cast i could just feel it I'm throwing out here right where I caught the last one. I guess that's probably why I like it, but it's just right at the right angle. I think there's a boulder there. This uh, lake is so well managed. They've got fish, uh, fish structures out here. They put out Christmas trees actually behind me out there on the uh, bank over there. They got probably a dozen or more old dying Christmas trees that they're probably going to put out here soon which is great, great management. So this, oh, and that's what I thought would happen and why I thought that was gonna be a good cast. Guys, it's, uh, it's a little bit better fished. I love it, I love it, love it, love it when I call that. So here it is, here's the reason why I like that cast because it's another gorgeous, beautiful smallie. That's definitely bigger than the last one. How chunky and fat is that? Absolutely ridiculous, right? Got every one of these beautiful stock hooks guys stock hooks on these jackal re-range 
black nickel plated ridiculous razor sharp sticky as they can be rare day that i lose them i'm shocked i lost that big one but it was a big one what do you what do you expect he pulled free but that one didn't going back there we go guys oh let me give it to him again because that's a good one that's a good one a really dark one too you know what oh should i do it yes i will here it comes guys yak attack the leverage net this thing is the coolest thing next to sliced bread i swear i love this net so cool but i'm gonna do it here it goes look at that it's got an arm leverage in the net it goes that ain't going nowhere oh thank you yak attack that's just absolutely amazing isn't it all right let's show off this beauty i've learned definitely learned this lake i need to bring a net not only for beauties like that but i absolutely have a chance at a giant walleye there's all kinds of stuff in here i've caught so many species here from rainbow trout to big old yellow perch and name it i've caught it out big large mouth too so there's a big beautiful small mouth i'm actually going to get a picture of that too so let me get a couple pictures and then we'll go anybody want to talk about cadence for you guys that are a little bit new to jerkbait fishing this is the time of year you can give it to it you can give the jerkbait a lot of action they're definitely definitely more aggressive they're warming up and they're ready to eat so you can give this jerkbait a whole bunch of action with very little pause it's those colder water temperatures that you just want to give it a little bit of time but right now that's not what i'm doing i'm giving this everything i got a lot of hard snaps and very short pauses and it's working oh guys i did it i broke out the spinning rod the six pound test and the vision 110 plus one junior and on the second cast same color pattern that happens to be the lg bone guys got me another one look at that beautiful bait isn't that awesome vision 110 plus one junior gets down there just deep enough uh and we got ourselves another one that's awesome two casts in i just wanted to come back through the same area with a different look and man two casts later right where i'd caught a few got another lightening up the line and shrinking down the profile after going through an area and smashing them will just help you smash a few more now won't it and that's just the perfect routine to come through an area that you'd already beat up show them something different and pick up the ones you missed this is the bait that got me my pb maryland smallmouth last fall same exact setup six pound test on a drop shot special finesse little drop shot rod and a ci4 stratic old school little uh 2500 series i got backing i got backing braid on here at about 10 pound test braid but this is the six pound test just a top shot it's probably about a cast worth of the uh sunline sniper absolutely awesome setup for a little finesse jerk bait let's find another one and you guys want to talk about casting distance oh my gosh i am getting this thing out there forever especially with the wind in my back another great benefit to jerk baits on a spinning rod don't be shy guys it's a absolute routine that you should try especially on the downscaled versions of these jerk baits it's the only way to go absolutely absolutely the only way to go for me for me guys mm, oh my gosh on the pause guys that feels like a better one let's see what we got yeah that's a better one really not oh it's a walleye guys i got myself a walleye the second fish after changing up and i got myself a walleye i don't think i'm going to keep him he's probably 15 but i'm not going to keep him i don't know i have a stringer but i don't have a cooler so that is a heck of an eater right there my goodness what a beauty look at that guys isn't that absolutely outrageous what a bait that thing is absolutely insane catches everything beautiful beautiful fish look at the cool black little mark on its fin right there pretty awesome right let's get him back man i would love to bring him home he would be absolutely delicious you know what I, i'd have a stringer i can manage something i think i got a little bit of a cooler let me let me measure him up i gotta see what we're dealing with here to see if we can actually bring home a walleye It'd be absolutely awesome <laughs> the only place i can measure this walleye is on my on my oars i got a measuring uh tape there not measuring tape but measuring numbers on the oar there but it's 14 and three quarters of an inch going back not quite gonna make it to come home to the dinner plate let's get back out there oh baby that's a good one guys that is another good one i think let's see yeah i don't know because it feels so much bigger on this little itty bitty rod but it's a decent fish I wonder if it's another walleye it's pulling let's see what we got smallie walleye another walleye guys <laughs> 
crazy. Absolutely insane. That's nuts. Look how light he is. Oh my gosh, he's so light colored. That is a cool look. It's like gray silver. Isn't that absolutely ridiculous? Look how beautiful that fish is. Insane, right? I'm gonna get a picture of that. I just wanna send a picture to my buddies, show them what kind of crazy stuff's happening out here. So I just don't think that's gonna make it either, 15. If it is, I'm keeping it, but I gotta get a couple pictures and toss them back. All right, we have got ourselves a keeper, guys. It is a perfect eater, 15 inches of deliciousness. I don't get walleye that often, and I'd be crazy not to bring some home. I got a cooler here with some drinks uh, and some stuff, so what I'm gonna do is drink all my drinks and then have a walleye for dinner a little bit later tonight. How cool is that? We'll keep them nice and fresh in this 56 degree water. And that he's just the right size to fit in that itty bitty a little cooler. So I'm good to go. Oh, that's a good one, guys. That's a good one. Broke out the jack all re range again, had to, because I had a feeling it would bring on a little bit bigger fish. Two walleyes and a little guy. Oh, is it another walleye, guys? Isn't that funny? If it's a walleye, let me see. Oh, I snow, I got a decent little bass in the belly. Nice one. Again, I switched it up. A couple on the little uh, jerk bait. I wanted to get back at it with this big old jack all range range for a big old fat bass. And let's just make sure I don't get myself in the hand with it because he is hooked in a precarious position. There we go. Nice one, guys. Look at the bellies on these things. So awesome. So yeah, I only threw this about three times before I got this one, but that's a fatty. That's probably the fattest one of the day so far, not the biggest, but I think the fattest. Going back. Oh, I can't believe it. Second cast on a new point, and it's a nice one. Didn't even think I had one for a second there until it tugged back and gave me a good jump. That's a nice one, golly. All right, guys, made a move. Made a move to a point, a point across from where I was fishing, and literally two casts in with the jerk bait in some milky, murky water, because the wind's been banging on it. But I threw this thing up shallow, and we got ourselves another one. Awesome stuff. Oh my gosh, what a nice bite right on the point. Turned around, guys, and we got number two. Literally cast it to where I was sitting with the kayak initially, and first cast on, I got myself another nice one. A really good one, guys. This might be, that might be nettable. I don't know, he's jumping pretty good. I figure I got him, I got him good. He's got going anywhere, that's, oh my gosh. He made his way all the way over. Maybe I should have netted him. That's, I think, the biggest smallie of the day. Is that not absolutely gorgeous, guys? Look at that thing. I don't know. I got my net in the way of the net camera. It's just all heck breaking loose. It's a great shot right there with the, with the jerk bait. Too cool. All right, let me get that out. Oh, I love hitting a spot and catching them on the second cast. Another one, guys. Another nice one. Oh, my gosh. This is a good one. This is a really nice fish. All right, it's time to get the old uh, yak attack out because he's barely hooked. Oh, and he's, oh my gosh, he's jumping at the wrong time. And he's in the net. See, I'm an amateur when it comes to the net, guys. I gotta get used to this darn thing, but it is a treat to have, let me tell you. Done, out of there. Not huge, huge fish, but gosh, I pulled over on this random bank, checking out side scan, saw a whole bunch of rocks, stayed in that classic eight to 12 foot water depth, and bang, back he goes. Is that a fish, guys? No way. I cannot believe it. If this is a fish, that is the first cast on another. It is another, another new spot. And I was almost ready to call it, guys, because I, everywhere I was going, the water was so much more murky. But I came over onto the opposite side of where I was running and found myself some cleaner water. There's some boat traffic out here today. And first cast, another little fish. That is awesome. I don't think the day's done yet, guys. I'm not signing out just yet. Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> that's a nice one, guys. Sweet. Picked up the little one. Picked up the little itty bitty Mega Bass Vision 110 plus one junior. Going back and forth a little bit. Same point that when I just came on and got one on my first cast, maybe about four casts later. How about that for numbers, guys? Again, killer, right? All right, let's keep going. I ain't done yet. 
Oh my gosh, what a bite. What a bite, guys. I hope that's a good one. He absolutely destroyed it. Oh my gosh, what a bite. No, he hit it, he hit it sideways. He's just a little guy, but man, did he whack it. That was awesome. I just turned around, just turned around and threw back to the same point. And look how he got it, guys. Absolutely swiping at it. All right, we're, we're still whacking them. We're still whacking. Great numbers, great numbers today. Oh, man. Unbelievable. Guys, they just won't stop biting. It's incredible. I don't know how big this one is. Barely, barely a little drag. Oh, he's nice. That's awesome. He was swimming with me the whole time. Golly. I don't know where I'm at with numbers, guys, but I knew it'd be a numbers day. That happens to be a pretty, pretty chunky fish right there. And that, for the length, I think that is about the fattest we've got. Look at that. Absolutely ridiculous, right? All right, let's keep going. If that's a fish, guys, I can't believe it. That is exactly why I threw it. Oh, yes. Awesome. First throw with my fluke, a weightless, nose-hooked fluke right over these rocks I said I just saw. And I swear it's absolutely the coolest way to get them. Look how well this bass is hooked with this absolutely awesome hook right there, guys. Tell me that's not as good as it gets on that bad boy. That is just like a banjo minnow style routine. And guys, I'm telling you, there's rocks right there and I knew I couldn't throw a jerk bait in there. So I had this tied on ready to go for exactly that situation. Just the coolest setup. Guys, there's a little screw lock right in there. There's a screw lock right in the nose of that. And that hook, it went right through it and it stays on. I don't put it through the actual, uh, through the actual plastic itself, but it's in that little screw lock. So it ain't go anywhere. Isn't that awesome? So yeah, it's not as weedless as the uh, Texas rig routine, but boy, the hookup ratio is way, way better. First cast with it right over these rocks. I'm gonna try and get another one. I mean, two twitches and he ate it, too cool. Talk about, oh, and another one, eat it, top water. Got it, oh my gosh, he got it right on top. Incredible, guys. I swear to God, this thing is absolutely killer. That was a good fish, too. He ate it the second I twitched it, and he just got on button. See, that he didn't get anything to do with the plastic, but that's two fish way up shallow. He ate it like a top water bait. I knew it up shallow they'd eat it. Let's do it again. See, there's gotta be another one. Dude, the second it hit the water, he crushed it. Perfect spot for a fluke. No way I'm throwing a jerk bait in there. So soft jerk bait, weightless all day long. I got plenty of spots up ahead too to hit this thing. So that's too bad. That was a really good fish. But we saw it jump. We saw it jump. I was, oh God, another one <laughs> back to back. That's three casts in a row with it, guys. Three casts in a row. If I get this in, we went two for three on this killer. Oh my gosh. They are so aggressive. This is great. 10 pound test with a 10 pound test fluorocarbon leader. He ain't going nowhere. Look how deep he got it. He did knock off the bait that time, but look at this. Tell me he didn't get that hook, guys. It's insane, right? So that's three casts with a weightless fluke and two fish, three hookups, too cool. We got a school of fish right there, folks. Let me tell you, there's a bunch of them in those rocks. Hitchhikers, Daiichis, I've had these forever. All kinds of different options. Uh, owner has a CPS or something or other kind of things. Uh, guys like to put their they're dummy baits on their Alabama rigs with, but these have, these work pretty well. These are itty bitty, they're really small. It's a little copper deal, just like so. I don't know if you can see that or not. The sun's probably in your eyes, but that's what I'm talking about. And then there's your, just your zoom fluke, guys. Just a zoom fluke. I don't know if you can see it again, the sun, sun's horrible, but we're just gonna screw that in the very, very tip, guys. That goes right in the very tip. And all that's gonna happen is once it's buried in there, all the way in to that little, little O part right there. We're going to put the hook through the plastic under the chin and out the tip and we'll be weightless, not weedless, but you want to talk about some action. Full-blown banjo minnow style and you saw what just happened. Three casts in a row, two fish. They just destroyed it up shallow. So this time of year, this time of day, 64, almost 65 degree water temperature over here. That's almost 10 degrees warmer than it was this morning. Thank you 80 some degree weather today. Insane. So here we go guys, almost to the end. Kind of have to stick your fingers in there. I got, I got some nails, but what's gonna happen is you're gonna get to this point, you're gonna have to kind of push it in and get that screwed in and kind of push it as it goes, keep pushing. As soon as that's as far as it can go and it's all the way in there, you're gonna get one more twist and get, get it basically perpendicular to the body. I don't know if you can see that or not. Just kind of pull it through. 
let that plastic kind of work with you and just force it in there. And then once it is in, kind of pull it through like so, flatten it out. Make sure that circle part's there. That's not the best job, but all we need to do is get that hook. We just need to get that hook in there, guys. That's all we got to do. So let's get that going. And here it comes. Easy as pie. You ready? Here we go. Watch this. So I'm going to give it one more twist. One more twist. Just so it gets in there just a little bit deeper. Like that. And we're going to stick it through the bottom chin. Through the actual little hitchhiker. And you're good to go, guys. That's it. <laughs> I'm rigged up. Can you imagine if we uh, get a bite on number four cast? Let's see what happens. So three decent fish. Three decent fish with th one rig, so that's not too bad. Let's get it right over those rocks again and see what happens. Here we go. Oh, the cast is just right. This is going to be incredible. There's so many in there. I can guarantee they're going to eat this thing. If not on this cast, I got a, got a feeling I'm going to pull off a couple more. Let's see what happens. Oh, and he gets it, guys. I'm telling you right now, this is the best gig ever. He smacked it. That's four for four. Four for four on this thing. Soft plastic jerk bait. You cannot beat it. Come here. Too much. Look at that. And it slides up the line. So that's why it doesn't normally come off. But that, oh, there it goes right there. So it had to, had to happen. But again, see how well that gets hooked? Guys, I'm telling you, those Texas rig flukes, weedless, great for grass. If you got rocks and things like that and you're just flickering it over, no brainer, guys. This works just fine. He just kicked it out. See what happened? It just tore a little bit right there. See how it tore? It doesn't matter. You could just literally go right back through there, but the problem is it's going to come right back out. So this is pretty much done just because of the tearing effect. But what you can do is you can tear off that plastic right there that's ripped. All that plastic that's ripped right there, just tear it off. And once it's all torn off, you just screw it back in a little bit deeper. And so long as you have, so long as you have that screw lock in there, that little hitchhiker in there, deep enough, you can go back through the chin and rig it up again and get a couple more on this bait and until you get to rebate there it goes all right cool so check it out it's the same bait it's going to do its job but you just need to get through just a little bit of plastic through the hole and out through the top and you're in business again i think we can go five for five let's find out i'm skipping across the surface i'm i'm giving it some flickers and making it splash and oh and there he is and that's why <laughs> because they are getting it like crazy how fun dude how fun i swear can you tell the fluke bite is just gets me going i love this bite so much it is so cool gosh they are so feisty and look at the way that bait just slides up the line gets out of the way look at the belly oh my gosh these are so healthy 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 feels good having 10 pound test on here too no brainer look at look at that right in the nose crazy right Oh my gosh oh what a bite he came out of the tree a nice one guys oh my gosh way up shallow he was in like six inches of water and he just annihilated it oh what a beast he was a big one guys he was a big one there goes my bait right there i'm gonna have to re-rig seriously if you could see where i was i hope you saw it it just it just porpoised right out of that tree and just destroyed it best bite of the day big fish lost him that's okay he was aggressive i didn't expect it but he was hooked for a second let's re-rig guys unbelievably i lost the one hook i had for my nose hook weightless fluke i had to find a random number two ewg grip pin it's gonna work it's not ideal but i have a completely different outfit this is my shake it outfit that i didn't pick up once today because i didn't need to because they were munching on moving baits but let's try and get one more sign out fish to call it a night Oh, there he is, guys. There's the sign up fish. He seems like a good one. Awesome. On the fluke. Had to get him that way. Right here by this beautiful mountain spring. A beautiful smallmouth to call it a night as the clouds come in. There he is, guys. Perfectly, perfectly hooked. Even with this, even with this EWG. I mean, look at the way you got it, guys. Right there in the tip of the nose. Folks, it's been a smash fest of smallmouth. A couple walleye. I got one down there to bring home for the dinner plate. And folks, as always. Appreciate you joining me as always. Appreciate you subscribing until we meet again. Over and out.